2.1 million. That is the number of people in the United States right now living with limb loss. That translates to about 155,000 amputations each year. And one of the leading causes is vascular disease. And more than 80% are gonna be over the age of 50. One out of five foot ulcerations will result in an amputation. And for our diabetic patients, they are at a 25% risk of getting a foot ulcer. So that is why you will see so much educational content on this channel related to diabetes and patients with poor vascular health and making sure that people are educated and aware to prevent wounds, prevent ulcers, and hopefully prevent amputations because that number is only anticipated to increase. It is estimated by the year 2050 that that 2.1 million will jump up to 3.5 million. It is currently the month of April, which is Limb Loss and Limb Difference Awareness Month. Today, I'm gonna to be introducing you to some awesome people doing amazing things for limb loss awareness. Be sure to stay tuned to the end for a quick tip regarding how to interact with the young kids in your life and how to introduce them to limb loss and prosthetics. What's in it? Sydney with Amputee Sock Prints have designed these limb bears that are absolutely adorable. This would be absolutely perfect to be able to start the conversation about limb loss, limb awareness, and amputations. Check out the website www.amputeesockprints.com and I will put the link below. For this month of April, for every item sold, they're going to be donating $1 to help others gain access to prosthetic care. The Adventures of ROTC is another great resource. Hillary Sussman has worked as a PT for 23 years and recently published two children's books after being inspired by her work and also her own dog, ROTC, to provide a resource for kids to be able to learn all about inclusion, kindness, limb loss difference, limb loss awareness, and that the impact our words have on others. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> yes. Oh, lollipop. Her name is Roxy. Roxy has a boo boo. Is she missing the leg? Right here. Okay. There's two books in this series so far. There is Roxy and Malibu. Roxy and Malibu, it's okay to be different. And there's Roxy. And Malibu. And Malibu. Malibu. <laughs> and it follows Roxy as she goes to her first trip back to the dog park following the surgery and her meeting Malibu, who is also different. And this is such an important lesson for kids at any age and even some adults too. It's very easy for us to focus on the negative aspects and it's those negative things that our brain just automatically focuses in on instead of the positive aspects. And so it is such an important, important truth that no matter what our differences are, no matter whether it's an outside difference or an inward difference, that we are valuable, we are of worth, and that is inherent. In the second book, Roxy is going to school and she's a little bit nervous about what everybody will think about her and her prosthesis. And this is an important lesson in today's age as well, especially with you know social media and that you can say whatever you want behind a facade of a screen or a false name, but it's still very true that words and what you say really do have an impact and they really do matter. And that we are saying things that are uplifting, encouraging, and edifying. 
Hillary is also donating proceeds from sales to uh, different rotating charities. Check out her website. It is www.adventuresofroxy.com and that will be linked in the description below. My kids have been exposed to prosthetics so they know what prosthetics are, but most people don't get that exposure. I didn't even know that prosthetics was even a thing until I was third year into college. So you might have kids asking the questions, you know, why did you lose your limb? How I usually go about explaining that as simply as possible is just that they had a part of their body that was making them sick. And so they had to remove the part of the body that was making them sick so the rest of them can feel better. So please let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear some of your stories, things that you tell other people when you notice them staring or when they ask you what happened or why you're missing a leg. One thing that I've always done, especially with working with uh, pediatric amputees, is I don't just jump right into the appointment. I always hand them the prosthesis and kind of let them check it out, interact with it, play with it before just jumping right into the appointment. If you have a child or young grandchild and they're curious or just not sure yet, um, you know, let them kind of handle your prosthesis, look at it, interact with it, and get more comfortable with it. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was valuable. If so, like, subscribe, comment, all that. And like always, if you have any questions, just ask and I wish you the very best.